If you're joining us for the first time, I recommend you take a step back and watch this video series starting with episode one. Hey everyone, JP Manuel here, and it's been a fun day hanging out here at Haas Brew House with my fellow SolidWorks teammates, Brian, Mark, and Earl. And we've been quite patient waiting for our wort to drop down to the appropriate temperature, at which point we were finally able to pitch the yeast. Now that those steps are complete, there's one more tedious task we need to do before we finish up our brew day. And that's clean everything up. Cleanup includes washing out all of our kettles, our hoses, running fresh water through all of our pumps, and of course cleaning out all the various tools that we use today. And just like cleaning up after brewing all day, we need to clean up our SolidWorks electrical projects by putting the final touches in before we generate our project deliverables. So one important step that normally is a large undertaking is numbering the wires in our project. I know from personal experience, this necessary task can be painful, especially if any changes occur to the project after we've already started numbering everything. In some cases, we might as well just delete all of our numbers and start over. But with SOLIDWORKS Electrical, we have the ability to add wire numbers to our entire project with just two clicks of the mouse. This is possible because each wire type has its own formula that controls its own naming convention. So the days of adding and editing boxes throughout an entire project are gone. Once we complete that step, we're ready to move forward and generate reports, such as the bill of materials and to from wire list. Throughout our project, we've been adding a lot of valuable information to each sheet, including symbols, wires, cables, and all the necessary part information. So why perform this operation twice by manually creating these lists outside of the software? We're only gonna open ourselves up for error. In order to generate reports, we simply need to choose the type of report we want to generate, and with just a few clicks of the mouse, we can see our reports being added to our project automatically. One nice thing about reports is that we can customize these reports as necessary, for example, by adding information such as vendor name or their stock number. And do you remember in the last video where we routed all those wires in the cabinet assembly? Well, another convenient feature is the ability to capture the length of each of those wires. This can be extremely powerful from a logistics standpoint because now we know exactly how much wire we need to order for our project. Or maybe we're working with a custom cable, which can also become quite costly. And no one wants to have to reorder a $16,000 cable because it was short by two feet. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience. I don't have time to cover everything that goes into numbering and the reports, but there are certainly a lot more tips and tricks that go along with generating a bill of materials and a two from wire list as well as several other time-saving features. Just visit mysolidworks.com and search for Electric Brewery. Do you have an idea for a SolidWorks electrical how-to video? Post a comment and the team here will work on creating a valuable video for all of our users to take advantage of. If you're a fan of Twitter, you can also follow me at SweetCad. that's S-W-E-C-A-D. And since it takes time for our beer to ferment, keep an eye out for an updated blog post on how our beer turns out. And lastly, I wanna give a big shout out and a big thank you to Earl for including us in his brew day and letting us use all this awesome equipment. Mark and Brian, who helped out in the brew day as well, but were mostly behind the scenes making this production happen. And from the entire SolidWorks team, we hope you enjoyed our video series on brewing with electricity, the SolidWorks Brewery. Thanks for watching.